Hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to YouTube. It is IEG Badass bringing you the final Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Halloween teaser. Now, it is the Jack o' Lantern S style Nightmare Chica that really brings up the question of whether or not how is some of the other animatronics going to look like Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Foxy, or even Fred Bear and Nightmare himself. Now, the original teasers that Scott Cawthon has been posting, posting thus far, since there's five of them, the original Halloween S style Nightmare. Bonnie, Halloween Bonnie looking thing, or potentially it might be like a jack o' lantern s style plush trap, followed by Nightmare Balloon Boy, the Nightmare Puppet, Nightmare Mangled, and ultimately the jack o' lantern flaming Chica. You know, we we always knew that she was sort of hot, but that just takes it so much. Just no. But, anyways. One of the things I've seen fairly frequently on the Steam discussion is like, well, Scott Cawthon, how are these Halloween DLC animatronics actually going to work? And he actually answered it a few days ago that simply the Halloween DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is simply just a reskin re of all the animatronics that's actually already currently in the game. So that means like some of the animatronics will be replaced. So you might not see Fredbear. Or you might not see Nightmare Freddy anymore because, like, for Nightmare Freddy, there's going to be the Nightmare Puppet on the bed. He said, basically, right here in the Steam post above me, they won't have their own AI since that would basically break the game as it exists now. They will be replacing existing characters in the Halloween edition. So, core gameplay of Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is going to play exactly the same way. It's just going to have this nice, creepy Halloween feel to it with the, the reskin of the characters. Another thing I would love... To see in High Nights at Freddy's 4 is if you throw in like some jack o' lanterns, maybe some candles, maybe some like other Halloween themed things, similar to like what he did with the classic High Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, and 3 with the Halloween update. Now, if you haven't seen that, simply change your date to October 31st, the date of Halloween. The year does not matter. Hop on any of your classic Five Nights at Freddy's games on Steam, and you will see a jack o' lantern with Halloween lights hanging up throughout the office. It's really cool, it's really simple, the effect is a little cheesy, but for a small little update for Halloween from Scott, definitely got to give him props for that. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you liked this video. Consider becoming a subscriber if you like anything Five Nights at Freddy's related. Also, by the way, if you're watching this video, sometime today, around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be doing a Foxy Mask painting live on my stream. You can find out more details of it in my channel description for a direct link to my Twitch channel. Additionally, I will be doing a Foxy Cosplay Halloween in the afternoon from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will be doing it on Sunday to celebrate the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Halloween DLC that is dropping. So anyways, guys, please take care, stay awesome, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!